Hi, it's Miss Miss Diana from NACOG Head Start, and it's story time. Before I read the story, I wanted to ask you about spiders. Have you ever seen a spider? Some spiders are okay, but some spiders are poisonous. So when you see a spider, you should tell a grown-up so they can check and make sure if it's okay or not. Have you ever, um, have you ever seen a spider web? How do spiders make them? And why do they make them? Today's story is gonna have that, a spider in it and a spider web. But first I wanted to show you my spider. This is a spider's head and this part is called the spider's abdomen. Spiders have how many legs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight legs. So if it has eight legs, you know it's a spider. And I just learned that spiders usually have eight eyes too. Two big ones and then six more smaller ones. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So spiders can see all around them. Spiders also have a part of their bodies called spinnerets, and that's where the web comes from. And look, my spider has a web coming out. Now let's see what happens in the story, the very busy spider. Does it look like mine? The Very Busy Spider by Eric Carle. Early one morning, the wind blew a spider across the field. A thin, silky thread trailed from her body. The spider landed on a fence post near a farmyard and began to spin a web with her silky thread. Nay, nay, said the horse. Want to go for a ride? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. What animal is this? It's a cow. What sound do cows make? Moo, moo, said the cow. Want to eat some grass? The spider didn't answer. She was very spinning her web. Oh, look, what's this? It's a fly. Where is the fly? It's under the cow. Was it on the page with the horse? Let's look and see. Let's go back. Do you see a fly? Oh, the fly is in front of the horse. It's under its head. Okay, what animal do you think is gonna be next? What is it? It's a sheep. And sheeps make what sound? Ba -a 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 -a, bleated the sheep. Want to run in the meadow? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Look at how big her web's getting. And is the fly? Where's the fly now? It's down on the bottom of the page. What animal is this? It's a goat. What sound does goats make? Meh, meh, said the goat. Want to jump on the rocks? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Do you see the fly? The fly is above the goat now. What animal now? A pig. What sound do pigs make? Oink, oink, oink. Run at the pig. Want to roll in the mud? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Where's the fly this time? It's behind the pig. What did we have now? A dog. Woof, woof. Bark the dog. Want to chase a cat? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. Where's the fly now? The fly is above and in front of the dog. Now we have, you're right, a cat. Meow, meow, cried the cat. 
want to take a nap? The spider didn't answer. She was very busy spinning her web. And where's the fly? You're right, it's behind the cat. Quack, quack, called the duck. Want to go for a swim? The spider didn't answer. She had now finished her web. And where's the fly? It's above the duck. Cock-a-doodle-doo, crowed the rooster. Want to catch a pesty fly? Looks like the rooster's trying to catch it. And the spider caught the fly in her web just like that. Who, who, asked the owl. Who built this beautiful web? The spider didn't answer. She had fallen asleep. It had been a very, very busy day. That's the end of the story. So why was the spider busy? She was busy spinning a web. And how did she make it? She had silk coming out her spinneret, just like, just like my spider had it coming out. And she attached it to the fence post and she just kept working on it and working on it until she had it. So why did she make the spider web? To catch the fly. Because the fly is what the spider ate for food. Spiders spin webs so they can catch their food. What do you do to get food? Do you have to spin a web? No, that would be silly. Oh, do you go to the store? Or have you ever had a garden and grown some food? Well, have you ever gone fishing? That's another way you could catch fish and eat and cook them and eat them. Well, I hope you enjoyed this story and that you learned a little bit about spiders. And remember, if you see a spider, tell a grown up so they can make sure it's not a poisonous one because I wouldn't want you to get hurt. I'll see you next time. Bye. Your local library may have this book available for checkout. Remember to read every day. Happy reading.